Welcome to the Cisco UCCX Features and Functionality PowerPoint. Uh, this is a quick video we've put together just to uh, share with our customers and our future prospects on uh, the advanced features of Cisco UCCX. So to get started, we want to make a platform statement about the Cisco UCCX. It's really a development engine um, that can do some really advanced things. So we like to refer to this as a highly advanced, fully integrated call or contact center solution for call centers that have no agents um, with only optimization and automation up to a call center that has over 400 seats. It just pumps a lot of calls through. The real sweet spot for workflow concepts in the Cisco UCCX is the contact center that wants to provide the best possible customer journey and experience by leveraging some of these advanced integrations that are available. Um, with a ro robust platform like UCCX, we're only limited by our imagination and our vision. And we have a lot of great and highly integrated systems and solutions that we can walk you through um, for fu you know, future information. So the Cisco UCCX overview routing. Um, so this is the core routing application. It's an advanced contact center routing application with enterprise class features. Um, it's a single threaded architecture with advanced ACD. ACD is automatic call distribution. It's also a full service IVR, Interactive Voice Response System, with ASR and TTS, and that's automatic speech recognition and text-to-speech. And with the IVR, it actually has um, really advanced database integration and can connect to any different type of database. Now, one of the big things about connecting to databases, you can introduce a lot of automation. You can introduce a lot of advanced routing and advanced intelligent decision making based on actionable intelligence. And um, a real world example of that is call comes in, recognizes your caller ID, does a database lookup, says, okay, this caller is a VIP customer. They're a high value customer. Let's treat them differently than somebody else who, who doesn't really do any business with us. So that's where the database integration comes into it. It's really, um, it's really beneficial to, to provide that much higher level of experience, that customer experience than if you didn't do something like this. Um, also built into it is a CTI server and integrated client. CTI is computer telephony integration, which means that we'll do a server-to-server -server integration for that um, integrated intelligent routing. But then on the desktop delivery, we have a browser-based application called Cisco Finesse, where we can actually bring the information. We can let the caller's um, information and last five purchases or whatever it might be be brought to the agent's attention um, and get a screen pop on that type of stuff. So it's so really powerful. It's also a blended inbound an outbound dialer. Um, so I could be an inside agent and as calls come into me, I'm taking those phone calls. But during my downtime, the system can be set up to automatically outbound dial um, a sales list or follow up phone calls or next call list or whatever it might be. So really what ends up happening is you take the day of an agent and you keep them fully utilized and fully um, occupied and get the best bang for your buck. Um, another part of this system, which is a very important part of it, is the reporting. Um, Cisco Unified Intelligence Center has a lot of core reports built in it. It's over 100 reports out of the system, and uh, Cisco does a great job with publishing the database schemas. So you're going to get um, a lot more information out of this, and especially if you're using a, uh, a business intelligence solution, um, some sort of BI tool, you can actually integrate the databases and you know, capture whatever information you need. With the advanced routing type of um, architecture, we can do things like dynamic messaging based on who's calling, based on real-time conditions of the call center. So one call might come in and we'll see that it has an extended wait time. So just let that caller know in advance that's an ex extended wait time or uh, provide some sort of alternate routing or some sort of alternate message. Um, built into the system is also a chat server. Uh, when I say a chat server, it's um, internal where the supervisors and the agents can chat back and forth. That really helps out with coaching, uh, helps a supervisor monitor what they're doing, their agents are doing. Um, if you do a team lead type of approach, the team lead could sit there and listen in on phone calls from uh, his or her desktop and then chat suggestions. Don't forget to say this. Don't forget to do that. So it really helps improve the overall performance of the entire organization. It's also omnichannel. Omnichannel um, is kind of a new term in the contact center space, whereas in, I could be an inbound agent, but on one activity, I could be handling a phone call. The next activity, I could be handling an email, a website chat, a text message, 
a fax um, or an outbound dial or an outbound uh, contact and uh, you can do this and you can weight those contacts over which is more important obviously the inbound caller is 99% of the time more important than anything else so we could set the systems up to handle that so it's true omni-channel routing and omni-channel reporting Cisco's done a great job with their social miner application which social miner is really a social integration tool, tool that will allow us to go connect to all the social sites out there like Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, different types of blogs. Anything that has somewhat of an RSS feed will be able to bring the information in and present it to an agent. Um, so if somebody goes online and says, um, I don't like customer ABC or, or company ABC, we can watch for anything that anybody says about company ABC and bring that into the social minor chat so that could, that agent can now proactively get ahead of these negative um, types of um, um, comments that are being made out there. Uh, it also feeds into marketing campaigns. So if you're going to do an outbound marketing campaign, social has been become the biggest thing for marketing these days and um, if you have a customer that's going to check in or if a customer that's going to say something nice about you on Facebook and tag you in that comment um, it gives you an opportunity to have your sales or customer service department stay on top of, of those types of integrations. And uh, Cisco has done a great job with uh, publishing APIs and writing APIs. An API is an application programmer's interface. Um, they've done a fantastic job at making sure that um, They've documented everything so that we can integrate more cleanly and closely to a lot of other things that are going on. Um, let's talk about the desktop client. So it's a supervisor and agent browser based client, uh, finesse browser agent, and then finesse supervisor desktop. So it's a thin client approach, whereas when you launch a browser, the agent functionality, um, tele telephony control, all the features, the screen pop piece of it, it's all baked into that finesse desktop architecture. Um, same thing for the supervisor. The supervisor has a little bit more advanced features, whereas in it can chat with the agent, it could barge in and intercept the agent's call, it can monitor the agent's call, so there's a little bit more functionality. But the great thing about this is the, uh, the ease of deployment, the ease of bringing on new resources. It's really a, a pretty quick um, process because it, it's just a link now. Um, the desktop also has a outbound component to it for preview dialing. Preview dialing is the scenario whereas and the agent gets to see who they're calling before they hit the dial number. The server will send up the call to the agent. The agent will then decide to hit the button to effectively place, place the phone call um, versus having a system just automatically dial, dial, dial. And then you get that from the person that's receiving that phone call, you get a, a setup time connection that might um, alert the call, the person being called that um, this is a system calling them. So it personalizes a little bit. It does multi-session web chat, whereas in um, with the desktop client, an agent now can handle up to five chat sessions back and forth. And um, some of the industry standards are that, whereas in one, it's a one-to-one -one relationship between phone call and agent, between website chat and agent is a uh, five-to-one. So each agent can handle up to five chats um, due to the way people type. Um, we have some customers that are doing five. We have other customers that are doing three. Um, it can also integrate email. So email with finesse means that if you want to set up inbound email buckets, we can actually route emails to different agents um, for support, for tracking, for reporting on it. Uh, we see all too often where customers will use a distribution box with um, an exchange or whatever platform they're using. And then before you know it, you're looking at uh, who took that last email or how long has that email been sitting there for. Whereas in having a queue based system for email really makes a big difference. It gives you the ability to report, it gives you the ability to provide a true service level. Uh, one of the latest things that have come out in the last couple months has been text integration. So we're, the, we're at the point now where we um, have to fish where the fish swim and communicate the way our customers want to communicate with us, right? So if, um, if a customer prefers to text, they're in meetings, they don't have time to pick up the phone or send an email, they just want to send a quick text off, um, we've integrated these types of systems where we'll actually be able to have an inbound text message get routed to a finesse desktop. Uh, pretty powerful stuff. And then the, um, the agent can text back and forth, but not really text on a phone from the agent point of view through a desktop application. 
And then there's always, always desktop application integration, which means that anything that comes into FedEx desktop, we can bring in third-party applications. We can bring in Salesforce.com or Microsoft Dynamics or whatever it might be. We can create those desktop integrations so that your agents don't really have to um, give up on one application. They can pretty much run their day through a single app. And then there's some advanced integrations. I'm going to kind of fly through these a little bit, but advanced concepts, and this is something where we leverage um, a lot of the functionality of the system just to make sure it's working properly and it's it's doing a great job and you're getting the most bang for your buck and the biggest return on your investment. So VIP routing, call comes in, it's a high value customer. We're able to route accordingly. We're able to give them specialized treatment. We'll be able to possibly um, send them to the same group of people they keep talking to over and over again. And that's done by call comes in, we recognize the caller ID, we query the system, comes back and says, oh, agent one and agent two have been handling this caller's calls for the last month. Let's make sure they get the, the through to them. And then we can also tie that to a survey application. Um, we can do a callback application where if, if there's a wait in your call center, we can offer up a callback where someone can just hang up and then the uh, presence of their inbound phone call will uh, be routed to the agent. The agent will make that call to them automatically. Um, we can also do this um, from an abandoned call point of view, whereas if somebody hangs up on your system because they're just frustrated or you feel that they've you know came in and they've waited 30, 45 seconds uh, or whatever it might be, and they hang up, we can actually take that abandoned call take that caller ID, put it into an outbound call queue and have somebody call them immediately. Um, we really focus on call dispositions and wrap-up codes. Uh, we have the belief that every call should have a reason, um, even if it's a quick follow-up call, if it's a sale, if it's a support, if it's a complaint, whatever it might be, call dispositions and wrap-up codes are critical. Um, some of the advanced things we do is look ahead routing. We have customers out there that uh, have a service level of, let's say, 95% of their calls have to be answered in 25 seconds or 20 seconds. We want to make sure we maintain those service levels. And by using look ahead routing, we can actually set it up so that we can pretty much guarantee that as long as they have follow up staff and overflow staff that we can do this with. And we've done this with some companies where, as in, you know, uh, people that are never part of the call center become part of the call center only when it's critical, only when it's absolutely necessary. Um, we can do customized treatment based on caller ID and dynamic messaging. So we can actually record messages to specific callers uh, call by call. So if we recognize someone's caller ID, we can actually play back a custom greeting that says, Hello, David Trello. Thank you for calling. Your agent will be right with you uh, because we know who they are based on caller ID. Uh, we've developed desktop applications. We have an application called Custom View that will give your agents the ability to see the real-time status of the call center and have pop-ups on their windows that will give them a, um, a true sense of what's going on so they don't just get up and walk away from their desk because it is break time. The last thing you want to do is see um, a heavy inbound amount of calls um, and then have people stand up and leave because it's a scheduled break. Um, this type of wallboard application or monitor application gives you the chance to provide solid KPIs and SLAs to your customers. Um, integrated screen pop with customer lookup um, and interaction history has always been big. Whereas in you can do a screen pop to the Finesse desktop and that's one thing, but doing an integrated screen pop where we're bringing up the caller's interaction history. We're bringing up all the information that pertains to them. So inside of a handful of minutes, or a handful of seconds, I should say, you will bring back everything about that caller, everything that that caller has done in the past 5, 10, 15, 20 interactions, whatever you want, and, um, and bring it all to that agent's um, point of view. Now, Screen Pop has been one of these applications that have been said to take only 25 to 30 seconds off. But we've experienced, whereas in, if we could pre-populate and do an integrated Screen Pop, we could take a seven-minute phone call and cut it down to three to four minutes, give you almost a 50% um, efficiency in your call center. And anybody who runs call centers knows that you know 10% is a giant number, never mind 50%. So a lot of value in doing that. Um, we can also integrate your website and do chat integration. So depending on what you're using for a chat client, on your website or if you're not using a chat client today 
we can actually write an integration whereas in we can give people the option for a click to chat with a call center rep we can also give them an option for a click to call off your website whereas in they might fill out a short for, for the short form type in a phone number hit submit and now their phone is ringing and one of your um, qualified reps are actually making an outbound call to them and like we talked before text to agent that's been a big thing and that's very creative in how we integrate those um, some of the um, some of the more advanced things that people are doing out there and call centers are looking to accomplish is to really incorporate that customer journey is um, to integrate mobile applications to the call center. So things like having people with a, create a mobile app so that if somebody is um, at one of your stores or one of your locations or within a certain geography of one of your stores, you know maybe they get a um, a coupon automatically text to them or notification text to them. So there's a lot of things that we can be doing to really help. Um, improve your customer experience and give that that high level touch and then lastly is workforce management optimization um, Cisco has some great tools that we can bolt on to the core Cisco UCCX application so so again uh, a lot of information coming at you fast but this is some really powerful stuff uh, it's a great application that you can do a lot of powerful things with and again my name is David Chirello with Workflow Concepts. If you have any questions or information, feel free to email me at davidc at Workflow Concepts or give us a call at 888-406-4485. Take a look at our website at workflowconcepts.com or our YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com forward slash workflow concepts. Thanks, everybody. I look forward to hearing from you in the very near future.